Welcome back to Get Off Our Lawn. It's a very <laughs> special episode with Luke Ellsman and three midlife crisis men <laughs> talking to a 20 something year old about being cool. Stay tuned. I can lunge all over the fucking place. <laughs> yes. Yes. I swear. <laughs> Welcome back to a very special episode of Underground Nutrition After Hours. I'm Scott from Underground Nutrition. This is Justin and John and our special guest, Luke Ellsman. Luke Ellsman. What's up, guys? Influencer extraordinaire. Ooh, buddy. Maybe. Is he an influencer or a content creator? Both. I think he influences both. Both. You influence me to laugh. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he really. I think he's like the definition of an influencer. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I would say too. I would yeah. say so too. I'm not like okay. classified anything. Else. I just didn't know because sometimes. What would I? What, what would you classify me as, John? Entertainer? Well, no, I thought that there okay. were his secret crush. <laughs> 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 whatever you want, whatever you want to be. Called. I just didn't know if there was like negative connotation between like if you were like oh, I actually put effort into my content. I'm not a you know. Oh yeah, influencer could be like a. Like a stat, like a jab for something. Like somebody, yeah, like doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Well, I, think like he's, I think he's influencer status, content creator. Well, let me first just start off. I would like to tell you how I came across you. Cool. Because I'm like a, I'm not really hip. John John is hip. Did you know that about John? John's into like what the kids are into. He got a PS5, apparently. <laughs> so like, he big, to, video, big gamer. He's trying to keep up. John calls me up. Yeah. And he is ecstatic. Wow. To tell me about. John John goes through these phases. It's, it's very Greco-Roman, man, boy, lovish, <laughs> sort of platonic, though. Okay, Pl- see complete, how this is good. completely platonic in nature. Right. I I, I said to him earlier that I, I believe it's um, him just longing for his missing like past, like <laughs> you know that you represent this part of him that he never got to have. Makes sense. And he said, bro, I think this kid's going to sign up for my gym. I'm going to be a millionaire. (laughs) (laughs) I cannot wait. And then uh, he uh, showed me your Instagram. And my snap thing was, I wanted to to fucking hate you. Right. But I I did. I was like, this is going to suck so bad. And then I kind of went down the rabbit hole, and I found you to be pretty funny. I wanted to not like you know yeah. how it is. It's like influencer yeah, making like, videos. Okay. You're doing what I want to do, but better. <laughs> <laughs> you're better looking, you know? and yeah. better shape, and you're you more com- more committed. You're, <laughs> you're more built committed. good. You know you haven't fallen off the cliff yet. You're and you make consistently funny, creative videos. Wow, I'm so, flattered. So so let's talk. This is an interview. We're not going to just uh, raise uh, rain praise down upon you. Yeah, oh, John, lead us off. Dang, with your, uh, that's what I thought this your, was going to uh, be. Question. Just going to tell you how cool you are. Oh. I mean, that's a bunch of forty-year-olds. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was looking forward I'm to. You that the, the the life is all downhill from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> enjoy oh, it. enjoy it while you enjoy can. Enjoy it. it. Sucks. Um, Damn. What I'm curious is it, it was at was that you one? Did this kind of happen by accident? How did everything with me on social media happen? How did you become? How, how did you become not one of these people who are just, you know, <laughs> desperately seeking attention, attention on Instagram to actually receiving it? Right. Um. I started out when I was like probably, you know, their age, the people you're referring to. Um. I was probably like, well, I actually started. I actually made something with like a group of my friends in high school. And we started, like, we all lifted. We were, like, some of the bigger buffer guys in high school because that's all we did. We got a lot of people from our school that actually start lifting. Mm -hmm. And then that fell through. That never worked out. Like, we weren't all in it. And then after I graduated high school, I moved to South Carolina because that's where my parents moved. And I had no money, so I'm going with my parents. Wherever my parents go, I go. And that was unfortunate. Like, I didn't want to leave the town I was I grew up in. But I was super passionate about lifting. My dad always lifted. My grandpa lifted up till he was, like, 90. He was deadlifting. I'm not, oh, even, kid- I'm not even kidding you. He <laughs> broke awesome. his. He broke that's a world awesome. record at 82. <laughs> no way. Yeah. yeah, clean and jerk. No way. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. My dad's always been a lifter. Like, I grew up with, you know, two-story house, basement. And when I was a kid, where we used to do the laundry, like, we had a laundry room in the basement. My dad had workout equipment, like, Half raise machine, leg press, bench press, dumbbells up to 100. And I'd always knock on the door and like want to go lift. And then 
that's obviously the, the start of it all. And then after I moved, like fast forward back to like after high school, when I moved to South Carolina, you know, that's when I spent a lot of time on YouTube. I used to watch guys like David Laid. He was like, he's like my age, but obviously he was huge. Like Bradley Martin before he, um, before he's Bradley Martin now. Yeah. yeah like when he was yeah. about lifting. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, now he's a lot more about entertainment and like, you know, what's popping and stuff, I guess. But yeah, so I used to watch a lot of guys like that and I was like, I want to do that. Like I want, I want, I want to film like videos. I want people to watch my stuff. Like that's cool, but I, you know, I want to be a part of it. Yeah. You know, kind of thing. I got a G7X, a Canon G7X for like six hundred bucks, and started filming YouTube videos when I moved because we had a whole garage gym. Because me, my younger brother, and my dad were all still lifting, mm -hmm. so we took all of our workout equipment from New Jersey, South Carolina, and we have this like oversized garage gym in. South Carolina is still there. And that's where I was starting to make all my YouTube videos. I was posting like every day at one point. Really? And it really wasn't hitting. Like training stuff or like? Just training pretty much. Yeah. Just like, you know, what I would eat, training, um, whatever the hell I decided to talk about that day. Yeah. Um, no skits. Just No skits at all. Yeah. Um, some humor like within the vlogs that, you know, people probably didn't, you know, get around to seeing. But like I'd bullshit with my brother. You know mm, what I mean? Yeah. Like. We'd just be dancing to the music or, like, just fucking around and just making jokes and, you know, just bullshitting with each other. And I'm sure there's a lot of funny content within that, but I don't know where it is. You'd have to dig it up. I've, I posted hundreds of YouTube videos because I was bored, too. Like, I left all my friends, and now I was, like, you know, on this pursuit to, like, see if YouTube's going to turn out. But, like, YouTube's hard as shit, yeah. <laughs> especially before shorts, especially before shorts. To get a YouTube video to, like, go viral was, like, impossible then I posted one with one of my old friends, and it took off. That was going to be my question. Like, what video was the one that... That like wasn't the one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that wasn't the one. <laughs> it got over, like, a million views, and it was, like, my first huge YouTube hit. But the video itself wasn't that good. Right. So no one was attached to me. It yeah. was just more of, like, maybe a title, and then we were just two, like, 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds, or whatever the fuck. Like a one-off. It, it was a one-off. and Subscribers and watch time and all that shit. Yeah, it probably shot me up to, like, in the, you know... I think I plateaued around like seventeen thousand subs. Wow! Up until like <laughs> crazy, trying um, to get two thousand. Yeah, yeah, seriously, no, it's pushing. tough. We're pushing. Yeah, do you post clips of this. We do. Yeah. Yeah. We, we okay. Do. Good. Yeah. Good. Because shorts are gonna help a lot. But yeah, so I started making YouTube videos. That never really took 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 off like crazy. And then I moved back with my girlfriend here in New Jersey. This is where all my friends were. South Carolina was too slow for me. Uh, I didn't pursue college because. It just wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. I could just tell. Like, I remember sitting in class. I'm like, this is like high school all over again. And I hated high school. Mm -hmm. Like, high school was fun, the fun parts. But, like, actually sitting down, learning, doing homework, all that stuff sucked. Mm -hmm. And I hated it. So were you were you motivated to try to find a living somehow in the yes. fitness space? Like, you were, you knew that that's what you were going to do. 100%. And then, like, you know, I fast forward to now. And I'm like, dude, I kind of believe in manifestation a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, I always envisioned where I'm at right now. I didn't know when I was going to get there, but I always knew, like, it should happen, right? Like, I'm going to stay consistent. I'm never going to stop. So you can't, like, I, I remember, like, seeing a quote, and it was like, you can't lose if you never give up. Mm. So I just never gave up. Yeah. Because there's there's there were so many years of just, like, disappointment where I could easily just, like, pack the bags. All right, I'm just going to be a union electrician. Yeah, it's consistency. Uh, you know, which is great, like, but, like. A <laughs> great living. Yeah, it's a great living. <laughs> um, I actually did HVAC for a while. I'm all over the place now. But, okay, fast forward. Oh, let's get back into the timeline. So we're in South Carolina. I'm posting YouTube videos. Nothing's really hitting. I moved to New Jersey, and that's when I found a pollen gym mm -hmm. in Edison. I really just wanted a gym outside of, like, commercial gyms. Yeah, like, I wanted something different. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't do it because I was huge into my huge into lifting in my garage gym. I could blast music, slam weight, chalk, whatever. And I was into powerlifting at the time. I didn't actually compete or get, like, super serious into it, but I loved deadlifting, squatting, whatever. And they were, like, the only gym with a deadlift bar. Mm -hmm. Like, within, like, you know, I didn't even know about them. And they were. What's your best the deadlift, Max? 635 for two? Yeah. Or maybe seven. it was just one. I got seven. 615 <laughs> for two. Yeah, I got seven. I got, I got seven. 700. Okay. That's fine. We yeah, get, the, get, yeah. get, yeah. on, get, on, get on my level. Uh, were you doing sumo or conventional? I was doing sumo. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, All right next I have question. a bad lower back. I have a bad lower back. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I got to bet everything. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. 
So you guys want me to continue the? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're doing I, great. I think I think I know where I'm going with this. <laughs> yeah, started working out there. End up being sponsored by the nutrition company over time because that's they had one. I didn't know about it. Sponsored me. That's 2017. Now fast forward to like, you know, I'm po- still posting YouTube videos there. TikTok wasn't around yet. Shorts weren't uh, shorts weren't around yet, and reels weren't around yet. It was just IG pictures and the IG TV, which yeah, sucked, which was terrible. But there was a lot of times where I wasn't really going crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I was just it was very um discouraging to not pop off. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I still did it. You know, I still you know, I still posted here and there on Instagram, kept it alive, still made a YouTube video at least once a month, kept that alive. I couldn't give up on it, you know? Yeah. But there's a lot of other distractions and things a- along the way. And then eventually <sighs> TikTok rolled around. When TikTok came out, it was all dancing and stuff like that. And I was like, I'm not going to do it. My brother was like, you got to hop on this app. Like, it's going to help you blow up. People are blowing up. I'm like, nah, I'm not hopping on it. It's just dancers. You know what I mean? This yeah. is just like that other app that came out and people are doing these Vines. Vines, yeah. 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 I never downloaded Vine in my life. I, I never had it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I did that, for one reason. It was so big and I up. never had it. it. I never had it. Um. So when TikTok came around, I started posting bullshit. Then I started doing like... You know, unrelated TikTok stuff with my brother just for fun. Because yeah. um, we'd only hang out with each other. I didn't really have friends in South Carolina. Where did that, ca- like, did the, ca- is that where you started doing the character? No. No? The character didn't come. And TikTok really didn't hit. Maybe I, like, I, I remember I plateaued around 10,000 followers for a little bit. Was it skit style stuff, though? We, we, no. No, you were just, no, like. No, you were following trends. Like, you would put the music, like, the popular music. Yeah, yeah, Whatever yeah. trendy stuff I would post. Yeah. You know, I would hop on trends. I'd maybe post, like, my own little edits that I'd make. Hopefully those would take off. Nothing nothing crazy. A few trendy sounds hit. Yeah. It was, like, when uh, COVID was around. I don't know if we could talk. Maybe yeah, you, you might that. demonetize no, it. Yeah, you got to yeah, be careful. Right. Yeah, don't get back. Yeah. Do yeah. not yeah, the COVID back. Was, yeah, we can talk all about COVID you want. Right, yeah, when COVID was around... There was this sound going around, and it was like, uh, could you pick up your sleeve and now relax your arm? And it was like for, like, you know, for them to give you the the vaccine. And I did it and, like, started flexing. Right. Like, you know what I mean? And relax your arm. (laughs) And, like, I didn't relax, and I was like, I took off my shirt, and that one got, like, 9 million views, so that helped. John was one of those. But th- again, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. John sent it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This kid's, this kid's it. He's got it. Just look at yeah, this kid's right? bicep. So when did like when did the character how did the character develop? And then when did it when did you notice like I'm on to something here? Because I I don't know this for a fact, but I, I'm just basing this on nothing. The the most of the stuff that I see is sort of that that character, the the Jim Lander character, and that that's stuff's a popular one. super popular. Yep, you do some other skit stuff too, Jim Bro, <clears throat> which varies. Do the Jim Lander, which is standard red shirt. He's like the employee or owns wherever the hell he's at. Yeah, usually, yeah, get that Homelander yeah. kind of psychotic how did that come about because vibe. That's the funniest one for me. I feel like that's who you really are. Like, <laughs> it in, is. In it's your... probably the closest thing to the real me. I love like just fucking with people, seeing if I can get a reaction, give them like a straight face, and say something fucked up. Yeah, the, like, the face you, know you make, mean? dude. The face you make when you put that on. Oh, uh, it's hilarious. I right. think we had it in one of our reels. Yeah. You know, where you Thank put you. the weight down, you just had the face coming at the camera. I was like just laughing, just looking at your face. So that was a huge thing, though. When I started making videos and people were starting to like them, like, a big thing was my facial expressions. People right. loved my facial expressions, how I react, how to look at somebody, depending on whatever character I was playing. If it was like a dad character, people loved my dad character at one point. Mm hmm. So your question was when Jim Lander came about? Well, I mean, what did the, when you started doing the skit type stuff and the character type stuff, did that is that what you think popped off the mo- like where it brought you? Oh up? yeah, oh yeah. It was never flexing or posing in like super low lighting, lowering exposure, and like yeah. with a cool sound of like you know. Yeah. It was never like that. I would hop on trends that weren't fitness related and somehow make them in the gym. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just like whatever trend it was, I'd somehow morph it and make it. You know. Somehow gym content. Somehow gym content. Yeah. And that started working. And then eventually I started like speaking in my videos. And then I realized people like that. And then I was like, this is more fun. Mm-hmm. Engaging. You get and a lot engaging. of engaging. Yeah. It made it like, honestly, it was just easier too. I was just like, I just, just film me and I'll come up with some dumb shit to say. Because right. yeah. a lot of the times I'm like, don't tell me what to say. Just let me think, let, let, let it just come out of my mouth. Because then it's like, one, I'm not stuttering. Two, it's a lot more genuine. 
Three, it's it's just it's, yeah, it's you don't just have to funny. memorize. The yeah, I don't gotta memorize it. It saves time and it just works out that I'm just like an idiot. Now, growing yeah. up, were yeah. you were you into like acting or being characters? Because like you're pretty good in the way. Were you like, class like, clown? Yeah, in high no, school? no, I was more quiet. Just did my did my time. Oh, was that right? You know, yeah, pretty much. I would have guessed that. I would have said class clown. Yeah, totally. Like, class clown. I Ex- mean, extra. People would always cons- I think people would consider me funny. Did you ever you get suspended I mean? from high school? No, I was always a good kid. <laughs> I only got detention once in seventh grade. Wow. You, what was yeah. the What was the last fist fight you were in, and did you win? Uh, I would say I technically won that, and I was eighteen. With tactic like TKO, like they got knocked him down three times, or he was down. Yeah, he was down. He was down. Good. Good. He was down. Okay, I like that. I like a good fist. Yeah, he fight. was down. I was. Yeah, no, I like. It was my first and only real fight, and like slugging, like punching each other in your face. Yeah, I was more shit. honestly like I blacked out. Like yeah. I didn't know. I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't wrap my wrap. I wasn't that angry though. I wasn't angry at all. Um, and adrenaline. I was caught off guard. I remember. I trained earlier that day. I just slammed legs. It like I just goes. like heavy squat day. I was fatigued, and this kid pulled up. I have a question about content creation. Hit me. Do you want to finish your Candy Crush game? I'm we'll... just waiting for it to load because I got right. this uh, <laughs> ad, and I, I don't want to lose the Yeah, point I don't want you to lose it either. Because the, these crappy v- games flood you, flood you, you with ads. Pay, you make all you this money. Pay. pay for it. No, I can't justify that. <laughs> 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 all right, so content creation, okay? So I have a little bit of an idea of what it's like to be creative. Right. And how much goes into it. So cool. my question to you is, because you are pretty creative. I, Thank you. I give you that. How much time and effort do you put into, like, ske- like, do you have a schedule that you adhere to? Are you looking at the metrics? How into it are you? Like, going into, like, it's Sunday. What, right. What, do you, are you aware of your, like, scheduling for the next couple of weeks? Like, do you know what you're trying to shoot? No, not at really? all. Really? No, I'm not that far ahead. I'm day by day almost. I know what I'm posting tomorrow, and I have like um, I have a, like a little bit of a schedule for Instagram. I post two reels and then a picture or slides. Yeah, that's like what's popping right now, and that's how I'll do it. Two reels and a picture. Two reels and a picture, but nothing. I don't have stuff weeks in advance. Right. I don't. I wish I had content backed up like that. I have no drafts in my TikTok almost ever. Because there's skits. Like, I, if I have them, I'm going to post it. Yeah. yeah. I never have too much. I, like, that'd be a dream to have, like, six, you know, six of them backed up. And I'm like, you know, okay, chill. Like, if I work, if I go to the gym today, I don't have to film. So you you're pretty I mean? spontaneous. When you come to the gym, you have a general idea of what you want to do. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. You'll see. I, I kind of, I've seen it. And I know John has, has seen it. Like, yeah. when you come to the gym, sometimes you'll talk to other people there and say, hey, do you want to... You know, roll. You've even came up to me like, "Yo, do you mind if you do this, Justin?" And I was like, "Sure." Um, I think somebody called me DJ Drama in one of your TikToks. Yeah, uh, I think comments. I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> they were like, DJ "I didn't know DJ Drama. Drama worked at a gym." Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. You could tell when something's scripted. You know what I mean? You could you could see that person thinking of what to say next. It's mm. way better when you're just like, "All right, like." This is going to happen and then react. Spontaneous. You know what I mean? Boom. Which doesn't work. It, I mean, it, it bites me in the ass with when it comes to, like, you know, needing or wanting, I guess, random people to help with the videos because they're not they're not used to it. I forget. Like, sometimes yeah. I'm like, all right, we'll run it back. We'll run it back. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, this, they don't do this every day. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, okay, yeah. And I'm not giving them a script either. I'm like, you just react as if this happened. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Because I just think it, it's portrayed on video so much better. Like, yeah. I think it really gets... Like, I, I think it's it could be a lot more funny in itself versus, like, even if they don't say anything funny, at least their reaction is. Yeah, yeah. Impro- you know what I mean? improv is, is yeah. like, the hardest form of comedy, but but it's usually, the, usually, usually the, the funniest. Scott brought it up before. I think it was off camera, but you, like, practically get zero hate, which is... I feel like people go online. I wouldn't say zero. Zero. Oh, but it's no. close. close. I've never like to examined it, it but I mean, it's, it's almost like I, just, I don't want to jinx myself. Post. Don't start hating, guys. <laughs> people just go just to pick fights with other people in the comments. Yeah. And you don't typically get that, right? I Pe- looked. I looked back for you. Me up. Yeah. I, I think it's because of the character I play and stuff like that, where people, I don't do the right thing in my videos. Like, I'm this asshole gym. And, gym employee or employee there where i'm just being a dick yeah and people like that's the funny part about it right yeah, is that i yeah. can keep this straight face do that smile act like a whatever whoever the fuck and people love that because of that people i i, I think that's part of the reason why you can't hate because like i don't know i feel like people hate on things that are right and because i'm wrong mm-hmm. 
that. I get, I get what you're saying. You know saying. what I mean? Like, it's it's like you're really... not even taking like a moral stance. You're just being a dick. You're being. You have that voice that everyone has in their head. You're just doing it out loud. Right. And people like right. that. But yeah. even when I do yeah. my Jim Bro videos, usually I'm like creeping. Like I do like you know hitting on girls and like creeping on girls, whatever the heck. Sometimes I do videos like that. Um, and they're all obviously skits. They're harmless. But again, like I'm just being like a douchebag. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like people just it's hard think, to hate on that. Yeah. You're kind of playing. You're kind of just like playing the villain yeah yeah in a but way I, and you can't really hate on them i yeah. think that there's a handful of people that follow you that think it's real <laughs> i do i'm oh, sorry yeah, definitely i do i you could you agree i mean like out of everybody that follows me there's definitely got to be a handful that do Bro, believe we have it's people real. that have commented on our google reviews asking if you how many gym. gyms you own yeah if you own the that's gym. crazy you know <laughs> people do believe that i work at I, I work at these gyms or possibly own them right that which is crazy to me they were dead um, serious when they i've asked. never worked at a gym in my life <laughs> right yeah which also shocks people just because i play the part of like in like a an asshole employee pretty well yeah but it's just really it stemmed from like a karen character mm -hmm. that was my first initial thing was like i want to be a karen mm-hmm um, because I saw a lot of those characters were popping off on TikTok, mm -hmm. so I did my own, I did my own way, you know, and I was like, oh, let's do a Karen inside the gym. That's funny. Mm -hmm. And then eventually I did the gym employee, and then eventually I ended up at Walmart to get something, and then I saw a red shirt, and then I was like, oh shit, eleven bucks. This is this matches the gym I'm at. Hey, let's now go. I'm the gym employee. Right. And then Gym Lander came about because like it's around the same time I was posting these videos that were around the same time like uh, the boys is trending. Right. And I guess people linked Homelander with my gym employee guy because of the smile and that like sociopathic Psychopath, love, you yeah, know what basically. I mean? Like, I don't yeah. care about you. you know, I'm jo better Justin than you. didn't get H Homelander. He I, thought it, I thought it was, he thought it was Zoolander. Zoolander. That's an insult. <laughs> that's that's crazy, a huge right? insult. Yeah, we had a conference crazy. call about yeah, it. We had a we conference call bring about him in on I think it's really Jim Land uh, Zoolander. Yeah, like, like, nah, he's talking about, bro. You're an idiot. So I have a question because I obsess over – I've been trying to get like – I like banter. I like when people talk shit. Right. So I've been like waiting for it. And we finally got some from, yeah, we, we finally got some a couple weeks ago. We posted, we made fun of um, a popular Twitter song and I had got, got some hate in the comments and I was, and I loved it every second of it. I was talking shit right really? back to him. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm, I'm on the comments. Like you could ask Donnie, like I, somebody comments and I'm on it. Like, right. Are That's you watching me. this shit? Like, do you go back and look at what people are saying or do you put, cause I was told when it comes to making content, put it up and just fucking forget about it. Don't, unless it's somebody asking you a question that pertains to your business or you, like if it's somebody just saying, "Hey, nice video, like it or whatever," but don't get caught up in the bullshit. Right, I'm, never, I'm never. in the bullshit. Yeah, I've always wanted to see one in the flesh. That's you that <laughs> spends all the time. I'm like, who does that? Me. Like, who has time to go, go back I and answer? Go on you? my YouTube and go to a, try to find a comment. I haven't comment, commented. Commented back text to at six thirty in the morning. Like, I don't Justin, have a million. We are <laughs> oh in it. God. We are fucking and then people. I, are and then, mad. I and yes. then I got involved. It was great. Oh, it that's great. funny. Yeah, I'm no. saying, do you, um, do you, are you? Once you post content, are you like monitoring it? Or are you like, do you care what people think about it? Or are you on to the next thing? Hundred percent. There is like definitely comments I want to see. You know, I don't want to see emojis. I want to see people actually interacting, typing mm. out something that happened in the video because that's like, okay, that's a good comment. And when you see that, and you see people are typing and not just spamming emojis, those are real people. Yeah. yeah. Like I actually have a pretty good following for how big I am, uh, how big my social medias are because I'm definitely not you know this huge popping guy right now in comparison to some of the big dogs you know what I mean like I still like I'm not you know well past 500,000 on Instagram I don't have multiple million on TikTok but like, I get noticed a lot in public a lot of my people or a lot of the people that follow me or like real and they're cool yeah which is so dope yeah yeah because I see it all the time I'm like how do I get right like how are you like, I don't have that big of a following, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But I got, you know, sometimes if I go out, like, there'll be a decent amount of people, no matter where it is, coffee shop, mall, whatever the hell. And I'm like, damn. And the cool people. Like, that's I love always my cool. That's, yeah. That's always cool. That's cool. And so, so yeah, I do moderate, uh, do moderate um, my comments. Obviously, it gets to the point where you're like, you know, it's too, too much. much. Yeah, yeah. It's too much. You could drive yourself crazy. I try to answer as many people as I can, especially when it's like somebody actually taking the time to s type something that's like, you know, like a question, like, like a question, yeah. or just like a genuine, like, uh, you're my favorite TikToker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you're the funniest guy, or you just made my day because, like, it, you know, it can mean a lot to yeah, them. Yeah, you know I mean? like, it, it warrants it a response. So, yeah. like, I usually try to keep up with the comments for 
the first 24 hours right. of a video. And then it's on. I don't ever right. usually go back because I'm posting another one that of day. Of course, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm going to end up losing my mind. There's been times where I'll just be, I'm like, all right, I'm going to answer all the comments that are here right now. Mm. And I'm finding myself, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. They're like loading in. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, oh my God. And then I'm done. I'm like, okay, I well, can't. Af after your first video that you posted in Paramount, we had people coming in that following week just because you posted in Paramount. They were like, oh, Luke was here. Oh, you know, like... That's awesome. It was wild. We were just like, holy shit. The point that I wanted to make is that, it, again, this could possibly be my overall cynical and negative outlook on the world, but I <laughs> kind of expected... Um, I wouldn't say I expected anything, but I was definitely surprised by how willing you were to engage with people. Um, really? You know, and I and I've, I mentioned that to you, and you, you made a comment like, this is what I do, like who how could i not be nice to people right no you know, there was that baseball um there was where paramount is next to a uh like a banquet hall and i remember one night it was later than you were you're usually there but there was a, a high school like baseball banquet or something like that and it was getting out and there was like a couple kids that were kind of like like the old like it was like the pressed up against the window of like I remember a toy this. store <laughs> yeah and like they're like they were just watching them work out and it wasn't crowded that night there was only a handful of people in there and it was like one two and then i think by the time it was like six or seven kids just standing there watching and he went out and like took pictures and i was yep. like oh you know you're a sweet guy you're stuck, dude. <laughs> you're fucking yeah stuck. i mean I, of course like again that's what the, that's where the influencer title comes you know we're in, we're intentionally trying to get a following you mm. know what i mean like versus like People that are like, you know, I compete. I'm a bodybuilder. You know, they're they're gonna post for sponsors like sponsorships and stuff like that. But they're not necessarily like their full time job isn't to be a content creator. Isn't to post every day. Right. They're they're prepping. They they're gonna post with that whenever they feel they want to post their meals and their physiques. But I'm different. Like I went into this like for the for people. that essentially. Yeah. For not the because people. like I'm like oh I want to be famous or something one day. I always just wanted to make. This gym stuff successful. It just comes with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and I love it too. Like, the, like I said before, like I have some of the coolest fans. Yeah, the engagement They're has like, to feel awesome, and it is. It's got to. It's got to mean something to your heart if you're oh, able yeah. to just go out there and talk. And it's to a people. grind, dude, to do this. So you have to have some reward. Uh, if if you could get some reward from like people coming in and my store or somebody saying like, oh, like I I saw something you did, I liked it, and and they end up having some sort of personal con connection. Because in the beginning, you're not making any fucking money. No, you no. have to grind for that. And as you right. know, in the supplement world, good fucking luck. Dude. Oh man, yeah, no money is. Yeah, it's a whole different thing. Everybody like, wants to. It's a parasitic. Like this whole whole industry is parasitic. Right. Like it, I own a supplement store. You're an influencer. You bring to the table an enormous following. I am selling supplements at a weird margin where it's like there's money to be made, but not that much. How do we how do we find common ground? How does it become worth it? And it always seems like somebody's going to be taken advantage of. It's like. It's hard to get like the perfect sort of mix, you know. If you find somebody who's got good morals and want like bringing a, a an ambassador or influencer on, they have to be into the brand right. or they're into themselves. And then the the store needs to be willing to pay somebody what they're worth. And nine times out of ten, a local store like me, I can't afford somebody like you properly. You know, like right. to really pay somebody like you would would mean I would probably have to pay you a salary that would make sense. And at the end of the day, it's like, how do those numbers, you, you're you better off going with like a big brand or just blowing yourself up, you know? I'm sure you've been through it. I'm sure you've been taken advantage of a hundred times. Yeah, I mean, or tried to. Or tried to, yeah. 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 You learn quick. Yeah, or tried Sink to. Sink or yeah. swim. Yeah. I got a lot of people in my corner, my girlfriend, always backing me up because I'm very soft in certain ways. I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, like, you know, in the beginning, I'm like, oh, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll do it right away. I'll do sure. it right away. Yeah, no problem. You know what I mean? Or like, oh, oh you can't go any higher than that. All right, it's okay. Yeah. She's like, hell fucking no. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's like, no, no, yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm yeah. like, cool. I'm like, just take my phone. Take, take yeah. it. Type yeah. it. Like, yeah. I don't want, like, I don't, I'm not like an aggressor. You're not a like, confrontational I'm not an aggressor. person. Yeah. yeah, it's easy to get taken advantage of too because yeah, you no, think something really and then like when you, you know, it's like you have to sit down, you have to know the numbers and then a lot of that takes a lot of work that nobody wants to do. Yeah, no, you it's, know? it's fucked up too because like these guys are going to obviously pretend like they're your best friends too when yeah, they're yeah, trying to work with you and it's like, damn man, like I thought you were a real nice dude. Sign on the line. <laughs> Sign you just wanted line. my money or yeah. you wanted my whatever. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard because it has to be a completely symbiotic relationship and in order for it to make sense 
from a business owner, they have to be making a return on their investment. And right. you also have to value your time. And with the amount of views that you get, how do you even do that? You know, it's like it's like almost impossible for somebody at my level who has several stores and a decent online following. I wouldn't even know how to price that out to you. Right. You know, you right. know what I mean? I would be throwing numbers out there. It wouldn't even make sense. Yeah. You know, now, speaking of like GNC hit me up for like a brand deal. I don't know if you want to keep this in or not, but I yeah, I do. I love um, it. <laughs> and they offered they had like 10 different deliverables. With no salary and just commission, and I'm just like, that is insane. So that'll you, they make want up you half just... of my like social media. You know what I mean? Like, and now I'm GNC. I'm not Luke Elsman. That's like where I have to be careful. It's because like, my, I'm my own brand. Yeah. So like, I I take on all these brand deals and sponsors and stuff like that, but I only have 30 days in a month. Yeah, we're talking. You know about, I mean? Can like, you talk about with deliverable? Like, some people is not going to know what that means. Like, they had ex- uh, ten different expectations of you. Yes, per like per month. Per month, yeah. And then you you would only get a commission that would be able to, like they would give you a link and if people whatever f- I sell, whatever you sell, I'll get a commission. On. And you would get commission on. Yeah. So basically. I mean, just even on something like that, if you're doing the math, I, I know GNC probably isn't doing better than what ten fifteen percent. It's like how many how many thousands of tens of thousands of dollars do you need to sell for another company before it becomes profitable for you and how much to, to 10 different deliverables how many hours out of the month is that for you to oh, man it's insane it's yeah a, no, it's, it's a big insane. ask i'd be a bit yeah no that'd be that's a huge it's ask a, yeah it's it, it was it was like at least like eight different deliverables yeah like post on youtube two posts on instagram tiktok yeah i'm like then you have no time for your own brand i'm like and then also they're going to put pressure on you because they're going to be like, oh, your numbers from last month. Yeah, yeah no, then, you know. I already have enough discount codes. I don't need GNC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do and you like, want at one? that point, if do you I were an underground one, yeah, right? <laughs> no, at that point, like I'd be just be my whole month would be me plugging things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I can't. I don't want that to be my pages. I don't want that to be who I am. Yeah, yeah. I gotta be. I gotta remember, like, you know, I got deliverables for X, Y, and Z, but like. I have to make sure I'm hitting my own deliverables. Of I got to make sure I'm putting my own organic Luke content out without a can in it or without me saying, like, you know what I mean? Speaking Which I'm pretty of. good with. And brands are actually very, like, very nice about to me. Like, they really understand that I do my stuff, like, very, they just know how I do my thing. Like, mm. it's very just, un, it's very organic. It's very unscripted. It's very just, like. You have freedom in it. I have a lot of freedom. So, you know, brands that I've been working with are very cool with that. Like, you know, say Gymshark, for example. Like, they don't make me do my TikToks and skits and, you know, you know, code Jim bro. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah. like, I have to mention that I'm wearing it. They're, they're totally cool with me just wearing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's worked. Yeah. That that's that's the better marketing, I think, especially for what you do. What I even like for what I do, I always found that like not shoving people can recognize a commercial now. And every time you go on social oh, yeah. media, Instagram is selling me something. somebody's selling me something. And if you can what's it called? The silent cell? The sneaky cell? Where if you can sell stealth, stealth cell, so there's a word for it, uh, in selling where if you could be selling something like covertly, not in people's faces. People appreciate yeah. it more, though. You know, yeah, I appreciate it instead more. instead of it being shoved down your throat. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm no, more likely to buy something that, like, if I follow somebody on Twitter or X who I like, and I see that they're using something that I never tried, you know, I, and I respect them, I might, I would probably buy it. I mean, that's why I'm taking methylene. That's why I'm drinking fishbowl cleaner. <laughs> currently, <laughs> I, I think the question that everybody wants to know: the elephant in the room. Natty or not, your Instagram, did you pay for followers? Did you pay for followers? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Yeah, no, bro. Word I don't off. know how people do that either. I'm like, you're just going to screw Everybody yourself. Everybody does. Uh, it, I, I've been stuck it. at 8,000 fucking followers, but it, I always dude. say to people, it's organic. Yeah. And I'm proud of my 8,000 followers. Yeah. Because no, I see be. other other people who will, will remain nameless. Instagram. I feel like I know what you're talking about. I don't know why. I'll ask you after. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> off camera. I'm just saying you have a huge follow. Like, you could tell by the light. Anyway, I think it's important to be natty on uh, social media as much as possible. I think, it's a, I think it's the same thing as Photoshopping a picture, though. It's just not your true, it's not your true following, and that's not your true self. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, how throw you... a little filter on. That's all right. Oh, yeah. I Lightroom oh, my <laughs> shit. Yeah. I throw my shit in Lightroom. Yeah. I sharpen it up. Yeah, but I'm we're not, you're, not, you're not like putting muscles I on. I don't stuff. add muscles. I don't, I don't even angle the picture forward or back to make myself look. I would never. Oh, do I didn't anything. know that's a technique. People should... do that, and they wow. think that's like the, right it, that that's down. like, that's like their version of like half natty. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. like, I'm not quite photoshopping because it's on like you could do it 
like without an app. Oh, but I'm like, dude, funny. you're literally morphing it your comes body. With you can the see the distortion <laughs> the further you drag yourself. And I'm like, why yeah. would you do that? You don't look like that. I'd just be disapp like that's I don't know. Like I'm not happy with the way I look every fucking day. Same as everybody else, but stop being a bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like and I seen dudes do it, and I was like, "Come on, bro." Yeah, I was never into the like the Photoshop, and when I was in like good shape, I never, I never, I had the one filter that I would fuck with just to get the lines a little better with the lines. But that's funny, you know. <laughs> 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 so currently, you're working with All Black Everything, Jim Shark. Anybody else? Gila Mix, technically, yeah. Oh, the uh, the shaker yep, thing. Love them yep. over there. So uh, all black everything. A couple weeks ago, we we were getting ready to do this podcast, and uh, John was like, "Oh God, you got to get in, uh, Abe. We need it in our gym. It's the best. I tried it. I tried a scoop of it. It's better than anything I've ever tried." So you know how he gets. Like <laughs> yeah, it's like excited, dude. We brought it into our store. We brought in the energy drinks. I think we're getting the whole line in sometime this week. We're gonna have it at Paramount. Yep. Uh, so Hell yeah. how did that come about? Did they reach out to you? You reach out to them? Instagram. Instagram. Yep. One of my homies now, Brandon, he's the like athlete manager yeah. there. He hit me up on IG and um, it was a smaller company, right? And um, I was like hesitant about it. I was like, I don't really know. Like, I'm just hearing about you guys, but I'll try your stuff. So it sent me over some stuff. I'm like, oh, it's pretty good. And energy drinks are good. Like, and I love free stuff. You've been using their stuff. You like oh, it? Oh my God. Yeah. No, I'm a loyal guy, dude. Yeah. When it comes to a brand, like I am not like a liar. Yeah. Right. Like I take the stuff that I'm sponsored by and I take it every day and I almost feel like wrong no cameras on or anything i could take whatever the fuck i want i could order whatever the hell i want and take that and just rep this but like no no i'm loyal like yeah. i want to like that's what awesome. i'm sponsored that's by. fucking rare yeah, dude. Like, you yeah. know what i mean i wish oh, i had dude wish i'm so much like that yeah dude i'm just a normal dude with i gotta phone, like call dude. people up and be like can you take that down please yeah you're an underground athlete did yeah. you forget <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> funny that's did funny. you fucking forget that's yeah like, oh i'm sorry i'm sorry no i mean listen i got first off like, if you're going to get sent a bunch of product every month, like, why would you not? Like, yeah. that's a huge red flag when people aren't taking the products that they're getting for free <laughs> yeah, from the company. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I know. But I mean, it's also just like a huge, like, money saver, too. Yeah. yeah you know totally. what I mean? Supplements like, you're are saving hundreds of, hundreds of bucks a month at least, like, on supplements. Yeah. Why the hell why would not? I go spend some when I'm getting them for free? But that's part of the reason why I want to make sure I like them. I like when they send you product over before you sign or you want to do a brand deal, whatever it is, whether it's a sponsorship or yep. just whatever. Like, I want to make sure I like it. Like, I'm not going to promote shit that I don't. That's right. And I'm going to keep that real. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? People could tell when you're bullshitting, too. People aren't dumb. There's a lot of people that are dumb, but there's a lot of people that aren't either. Yeah, no, and the people that aren't bullshit. are the ones that you want behind you. Yeah. yeah. And, like, don't try to fake it because... You'll, it's fucking very easily seen through. Yeah, and if you're selling garbage, people are going to figure that out real quick, yeah, too. You know? For sure. So, yeah, we're going to be carrying underground nutrition. I actually like the, I do like the fucking energy nice. drinks. I've drank all of them. They're unique. Yeah, they're, I like that they're small, like Alani's, and they they got a decent amount of caffeine. They taste good. So that's well, cool. The one training question I had, since I mean, I'm like a. He trains. I'd like to train. He works out. Okay. <laughs> I work out. A so lot. somebody else is here that actually works out. This is good. Um, I had just had a couple questions. A, do you have a coach? And B, uh, kind of like B and you know B one is, do you um, you know also known as C? No, yeah. it's like kind of tied together. <laughs> like training split and nutrition. Do you find do you follow like a nutrition plan? Are you do you watch what you eat, or are you just like naturally just you know a freak of nature? Because, Thank you, freak you know, of nature. Dude. I mean, oh, we, man, I'll take you post in you post in our gym with your shirt all the time, and I'm just like Jesus Christ, this kid is. You know, thank you. Stacked. Yeah, I mean, I'll, uh, I find I get under the light and I he's try to got get the a best sleeper, shadows. Sleeper build. Have you seen him in like no, a tank? I, I've seen. Yeah, no, I know he's he's fucking shredded. jacked. Yeah, he's, he's jacked. Old. Yeah. Well, Are you ripped? Do you have abs? Oh my god. Yeah. He's like a like an oak tree. Oh shit. This guy, hairy oak tree. I was gonna say I got I got a little you know V neck sweater <laughs> covering the abs because yeah. I'm a hairy bastard. Right. Right. But, you so never like, want to shave just to see your full like muscle. Like, <laughs> We've asked him this a hundred times. Do it. He you won't do it. Time. I don't have that time. Yeah, really, no, shaving is <laughs> a fucking. It's a man, commitment. Bro. Yeah. He'll be in there all day. Yeah, it'll be, it'll it's be a tough. look though. It's like a yeah, no, it is Mediterranean a <laughs> kind of thing, you know. It's something. He's eating. It looks good though. Squid Thank on the you. beach. Yeah, it looks up, good. You look good. Boat. Thank you, bro. Um, never had a coach. Never followed a diet in my life, like an actual one. Uh -huh. Um, that's why. I, that's why. I, like the first thing I put. This was way before my character. Just a gym bro in right. my TikTok, and that's always been my thing. It's because I'm just a gym bro. Right. Like I have my own split that I made up my myself. I lift 
whatever the fuck I feel like. Wow, you know, I, like I don't have a set, awesome. structured it's workout. Awesome. Um, and everything I do is off of my own experience and knowledge. So it's not a cycle. Just cur- curious. It, it's six o'clock. Just can you just tell us what your meals were today? Um. Okay. Shit. I had oh uh, healthier than usual actually. <laughs> I scrambled. I probably had like five or six whole eggs. Love it. Four. <laughs> oh fuck. Four ego waffles. Okay. All right. <laughs> Gotta get those carbs. And like two. <laughs> that John two, a lot. Zero for no two bacon's. Zero. Two bacon. You can't eat like him. Don't. Right. This isn't a diet. Yeah, you can't. He's do not that, giving you advice <laughs> yeah. right now. No. That's don't, all. Don't eat four <laughs> ego waffles. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? They're so fucking good though. Is that all you had today? Yeah. Yeah. I woke wow. up late today. It's Sunday, dude. No, that's nice. Yeah, I woke yeah. up at like a. Uh, 10.30. No doubt. You know, and I had I, steak and eggs. I posted it on Twitter. Nobody liked steak it. Steak and eggs. I li- I've been liking zero boring. likes. I've been liking a lot of your stuff on Twitter. Yeah, you're the me, it, you and Nordic Berserker, the only two. <laughs> yeah, so that was my one fitness question for you because I'm a psycho. Yeah, no, I'm just the gym, bro. Like, right. I do my own thing. I do... Uh, yeah, I've just learned my body very well over mm. the years. I kind of know what works. And I know I'd be a lot better with, like, an actual fucking, Structure like, structured and, yeah. diet. But you're just not there yet. I'm just not there yet. It'll okay. click where I'm like, all right, I'm going to fucking turn this thing around. Yeah, wait till you're our age. Earlier, you talked about family, father, brother. What are their thoughts? Like, are they are they behind you in this? Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, yeah. from the rip, though? Like, dad was like, yeah, do that. Like, no, I mean, it wasn't like that. Like, my parents were never on, like, on top of me about things. You know what I mean? They kind yeah. of let me, um, more than my other brothers, like, they kind of let me Give, they, they allowed. They gave me time to figure whatever the hell I was doing out. Mm-hmm. They've always backed me up. They were always were supportive. They were supportive when I didn't want to continue college. Um, they're like, yeah, we probably knew. Like, you just, we're never like <laughs> my younger brother's the engineer. He's a smart guy. Mm-hmm. My older brother has some brains too. Like, I was just like the, you know, Jim bro. I was like the very <laughs> no, but I was that middle child. Where my dad used to treat like oh I used to be the sweet boy because the middle tri- child syndrome you're afraid that like that guy doesn't get enough attention so I got the most attention right. growing up and yeah. I was like slightly stupid to be honest like I was like I went to like extra classes growing up I had to repeat like kindergarten or first grade like I was slow off the bat I, I think my parents just was like I'll let him do his thing and whatever yeah, they're behind and, you that's pretty sick yeah they're, and behind they're always behind me with lifting my dad would always be in my like always be there to spot me on bench he was always happy about my PRs he was that's always awesome. happy about whatever sick. YouTube video I was posting he still keeps up with any TikTok every time I oh, post a video he'll shit. tell he'll, he'll definitely watch this yeah, video tell him the comment nice. yeah <laughs> he'll subscribe comment if he, say, can he subscribe if he knows that I'm in this and he sees it he'll watch it for oh, sure awesome. Yeah. Awesome. they're awesome my mom has been supportive my brother's always backed me up he was the OG to help me with the sk- like my TikToks and YouTube he was the first one always there and like even when I went to Texas a few months ago I went to Alpha Land for uh, summer shredding my mm-hmm. brother was like oh, I'll, I'll carry the camera like I want you to get YouTube content like, I want to make sure you have YouTube content. I'm the guy holding the camera for you. That's awesome. Like they want me to continue to succeed. That's they great. always wanted that. You know? Did you love Alpha Land? Was it awesome? It's not nearly as big as what people think. That if you've never been there, really it's not that big? No. What's it your fi- What's your favorite gym you ever trained in? You don't have to say Paramount. We already know it's not Paramount. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good gym. It's, no, a, it's a great gym. Like 100. Like, percent What's your yeah. favorite gym that you ever trained at? Like you just you have any? Because you must have been tra- you must have trained all over the place. Did I throw you for a curveball finally? No, dude, I got to pee so bad. I gotta <laughs> you guys. That's right. We're gonna come back. We're gonna do the quiz, and we're done. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go pee. Are you taking diuretics? <laughs> what do you think about the Mexican aliens? Did you see that? All right, guys. This is the last segment. This is the uh, underground quiz. It's about Paramount Gym. It's called Know Your Gym Owner. So I'm gonna ask a question, and you have to guess. Who that question, the, the right answer would be would be John or Justin. Okay. Gotcha. So Let's th- do it. This is know your gym, gym owner. We're going to start off with a couple softballs. This was my idea. I'm probably going to regret it. Okay. This is, I'm going to start off with a nice, John's easy song. really upset if he knows me more than he knows John. <laughs> oh, shit. This, okay, let's do this. Th- we're gonna, oh, we'll keep tabs. All right. <clears throat> we're gonna, real easy. We're starting off easy. Who's older, John or Justin? Older in age. Justin. Justin. Is that right? That's wrong. That's wrong. Oh, <laughs> Justin just looks older. No, sure. I just thought he was older. I thought I okay. He looks more mature. He looks he's older. more. You think he's more mature than me? Is that? Uh, <laughs> no, I just thought he might be older. Okay. Yeah, he looks older. It's okay. Only one right answer. Thanks, Scott. 
Uh, who's better looking? There is only one right answer here. It's just, I know it seems like it's this subjective. Very, uh, yeah, it does. But there is uh, actually only one correct answer. Who is better looking? Who's more handsome and not who has more riz? I feel like I'm like picking the favorite child right now. I can't do it's this. It's okay. You could do it. You can snap decision. You got to go into your head. Somebody's going to pull the trigger. All right. Yeah. Hurt anybody's feelings. All right, we yeah. know the answer. Is there only one right answer? It's just a matter of how honest you can be. <laughs> I can be honest, dude. Oh. What's the question? Say it one more time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna read it. For I don't you. think I, I think he knows what the question is. Who's better looking, John or Justin? Man, you guys are both attractive, man. Like, <laughs> gun, gun to your head. Listen, like, gun to your head. Justin, 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 okay. Justin, 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 Justin. That is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready for. And this? he's also the trainer. Like, you know, <laughs> ready for this? Who's natural? On not on any PEDs, Justin or John? John. <laughs> They're both on PEDs. <laughs> no, are you on? It's a little TRT. A little TRT. Okay. A little TRT. <laughs> Justin's on a little more than TRT, though. Right? Uh, sure. Yeah, he's always on a little more than TRT. Okay. He's more of an HRT. That's okay. a hormone replacement. That's right. right. Shit. <laughs> okay. This is a long one, so follow along. Who owns a special needs bulldog type uh, monstrosity that my sister cares for because they can't even take for themselves, let alone a dog? Special needs English bulldog type monstrosity that my sister takes care of because they can't take care of themselves, let alone take care of a dog. It's got to be Justin. You are right, but half right. Half it's right. actually both of them. Both of them. <laughs> oh, God. It's I can't actually win this. Both, both of them. That was a There's got to be like a. Uh, you get a half point for that. Okay. That's fine. Okay, yeah. I'll take it. A lot of people don't know this, but uh, they, they both golf. You would think that they are rich because they're golfing all the time. Okay. And. Uh, my question to you is, head to head, who's a better golfer, Justin or John? You could go based on physiognomy. physiognomy is this another trick question where they're both bad? No, no, no. They're actually, quite, they're all both pretty good. But me and you, are you a good golfer? I don't golf. Yeah, neither. Would you like us playing like John better? No, no. Justin's better. Damn. Right? Am I right about that? Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh, shit. He played a lot. Fun, he's a lot of bit better. Fun fact. Okay. Justin played. Like professional golf. Or I something. didn't play professional golf. <laughs> okay. I played collegiate okay. golf. <laughs> collegiate. <laughs> These <laughs> are <laughs> tough questions. Yeah, These I aren't know. like paramount. Like I know from seeing, like you know. Yeah. No, no, like, we're no, trying. That's the point. Okay, yeah, okay. That's, that's, that's the reason we're, we're trying, trying to make you look stupid. And all <laughs> <laughs> much, I'm like, <laughs> it's all right. You're doing good. I didn't. All right, I'll take it. There's plenty more questions. Who's financially more irresponsible, Justin or John? Like who just can't pull it together and not buy the thing that he doesn't need? John. That's correct. That is correct. Correct. You just knew that oh, off the yeah. top of your head. That's amazing. Yeah. It, Justin doesn't look like the type he wants to spend money. He just like, <laughs> no wants to like, save everything. I literally ounce. told him that outside. I was like, <laughs> I just see something shiny and I want to buy it. Yeah, he did actually <laughs> just say that too, yeah. Who would you more likely go to life advice and or love advice to uh, Justin or John? Who do you think would give you the best? Who are you more likely to ask for life and or love advice from? Is it who would give the best? No, it's who would you more likely go? Because it, it would. It, there's a right or wrong answer here. Sure is. It, well, yeah, you can say who would give you the best. Who's not going to steer you down into hell with his bad advice? Damn. Something's man. going on in, with your life. Is only Justin and John in the room in the gym, and <laughs> you've got to you got to talk yeah. to somebody, and you can only talk to one. I feel like Justin. Justin? Yeah. You'd be wrong. You'd be wrong. Damn, bro. <laughs> you can't fucking win. You'd be wrong. John would be the best. He is the most level headed. He'll give you advice that he won't take himself. But <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't go advice. to either of them. <laughs> personally. That's the right question. That's the right answer. That is the correct answer. That's what makes you that. Tough, We're going to give you that. Yeah. <clears throat> nice job. All right, cool. I recovered. All right, this is easy. It's softball. Easy one. Who hates working out but owns a gym? John. John. <laughs> yeah. Whose favorite food is a donut and also has it tattooed on his body? John. John, yes. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, tattoo, give it away, but yes. Uh, I've seen John run over to Duncan <laughs> a few times. This is going to be, this might surprise you. This is a little bit of a, this is just like deep uh, Justin and John lore. You'd have to really know the okay. lore here. Who's never been skiing or snowboarding, Justin or John? Justin. Nice, That's correct. Nice He's never seen a, yeah. a mountain. He's yeah. never been on a lift. That's no. crazy. Isn't it no. insane? I, I want to say it's childish. Ins- I wanna, it's almost childish. Like I just 
started. I just snowboarded for the first time. I think last winter All or right, two so winters ago. Right there. Yeah, but you're, but you're older. Twice, you're yeah, even older. Yeah. yeah. So, so you have so many more years of rejecting and going to you know <laughs> going to have fun on a mountain. Yeah, it's fun. Really like to do stuff. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's it, in order for him to do something, it has to be ten or fifteen minutes from the house. That's my no, favorite. No, that was always me too. Like I don't like. I, I was always so against it too. I was like, "Oh, come on, it's so much fun." I'm like, "Why is it fun? It's physically that. like, it's a physically like, I just want to chill." Yeah, but no. it's a lot of fun. I bet when you is. get when you I get going. I really think I'm gonna, try. Really think I'm gonna go this year. I think I'm gonna try. You'll be surprised. Like yeah. I think you'll I think like I'm it. Try. So yeah, I think right. I passed. How'd you How'd you feel about the podcast? Did you have fun? I did have fun. This is my climax of my career. 